I think some of that goes back to the, the time availability of the owner. So I have, like I mentioned, I have, I have a couple owners that have two, two units and they just don't have any time on their hands. And, and frankly, they don't have a desire to necessarily be involved in the property and be, you know, either at the, for the, with the tenants or with maintenance, and everything. And they, you know, it's just an investment to them. Um, I have a few owners that have never, haven't seen their property in years. Um, and that that's, that's their, desire you know they just they just want to have it as a as a passive investment um i have other owners that have 20 plus units and they want to be actively involved in everything that's going on um and then they we have a high somewhat of a hybrid we're one of the rare you know companies in town that does allow um some type some hybrid type of arrangements as it relates mostly to maintenance of the units. We have a few owners that they really like to do their maintenance. They've been doing maintenance on their buildings for years. That's their hot button where they can, they're concerned about spending too much money. So um, we have systems and processes in place that allows them to continue to do that. Um, we handle everything else. We, we handle all the rent collection and the filling of the units and, and even the dispatching of the, you know, collecting the maintenance requests, but then we, we actually dispatch them to the, to the owner um you know which which is which works out pretty well um so I, I think it really depends on what the owner is is really looking for want to hear more on this topic click the link below for the full episode of maximizing your property value